How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. And so, in today's video, we're going to discuss whether clones can be created as full size humans or if they have to start off as babies. And so, it looks like my original assessment was that the clone would have to start off as a baby before I even looked into the subject that's kind of what I was thinking because it's like I mean that's a good starting point when you're just f learning about clones and how everything works you would just assume that so that suspicion was visualized in this movie that was recommended to me called Boys of Brazil. Because when I made my first clone videos, everybody was telling me to go watch Clones of, well, Boys of Brazil. So I skimmed through it and understood that, well, spoiler alert, but um, basically there was a boy in that movie who was said to be a clone and so basically the boy didn't know who he really was but he was actually a clone of I can't say his name but it was the guy from World War II in Germany so the, the leader that was over there that they had to take out so basically the technology they're saying has been around for a very long time and so this boy was growing up and uh he didn't realize why he was behaving like he did and it turned out that's why because he was a clone of that leader from germany so um and he was growing up so he was just like what maybe 10, 12 or something, something around that age. And um, the scientist knew who he was, but the boy was just discovering who he actually was. And so in that movie, it shows us that the technology has been around for a while because like, how did, how did the filmmaker make a movie about clones back in, what was it, 1978 or something? that movie was made so that means and, and also um the movie shows us that uh, the technology probably came from germany from that era they they must have been the ones that were really working on it because a lot of their scientists were working on supernatural things like their scientists were well aware of it's like in America, the scientists are a lot of, you know, mostly atheists, it seems like for the most part. And but but in Germany, those scientists were deeply aware of the occult and the mysteries of the universe and the supernatural. So a lot of their scientists were doing their science to. Um, with the edge, they, they they had an edge because they they were into the supernatural, so their scientists were really like making progress because they knew you know they were tapping into the supernatural stuff with their and, and mixing that with science. So that's where they probably got this whole clone stuff. And so the movie shows us that the technology's probably been around for a while. Plus. It showed us that at least back then they, they were cloning humans from a baby and they had to grow up all the way up to an adult. So with celebrities, I, I, I shared with you in the last video how a lot of times the celebrity will disappear. They could be super out of shape and, you know, like they'll disappear, they'll go to jail or a rehab or something and then come back, they'll be looking different completely fit whole different physique a whole different body whole you know just brand new and so 
are they able to clone a full size human is the question. And so with Marshall, Donald Marshall, uh, not sure if he really explained that, um, whether they can or not, but he said they have, it sounds like they, they're disposable. Like they can clone you into a full size human and then do what they want to you and then dispose of you, exterminate you and then, um, do it all over again. You know, send you back to your body and then do it back, do it all over again. Cause we're learning about, we learned about, um, the soul transfer technology that, uh, they use with clones. So, um, I was theorizing that, well, a lot of my subscribers are saying they can actually grow full size humans now. That's what a lot of uh, my subscribers are theorizing, um, that they have that ability. They said, some people are saying you can clone a full size human in as little as like three months. And so I would guess that's a possibility. I was looking into more like I was thinking, okay, if they're so disposable, these clones, they can just, um, soul transfer a celebrity to a new body anytime instantly. And I was, I was theorizing how when a celebrity disappears for so long and comes back looking different, I was th theorizing and plus how they find like little differences, discrepancies in maybe their tattoos or their earlobes and stuff like that. They'll see like, this is a different, you know, something's not right. Something's off. Um, so I was thinking they get a base model. Like they have a lot of clones ready to go. They've probably been making them nonstop. Um, and they have plenty of them, all races, all ages, and they can, um, send, um, and they can modify the, the clone with facial, um, surgery, I was saying. And then I, th I was, I was theorizing that's why the, the celebrities disappears for so long is because they have to perfect the clone and put all the tattoos on them and facial surgery, facially construct the surgery to make the um, clone look like the celebrity perfectly as well as perfect as possible. I was theorizing that they just need like a, they can do that with any uh, clone. They can just reconstruct it to make it look like the celebrity. Um, just get a similar height, similar everything and, and do it that way. Um, that's one possibility. That, that's one I'm liking. Another th hypothesis is that they use masks. And I've seen this before, like, I've saw like Beyonce, for example, um, and, and somebody had spotted out that she, it was like somebody with a mask on. It's like a skid mask. Um, you know, like in Mission Impossible, they have like these realistic masks and they can throw this mask on and it. It's like new techno, a new technology of mask where you can't really tell the difference. And so it looked like. One time I saw um, a channel that pointed out that it looked like Beyonce had a mask on and because they saw like where it was kind of peeling off around the neck area or something. And so that's another option, mask. Um, I like the facial surgery theory better because the, the celebrity would need to be like in public a lot. So I don't think they would have time to like spend too much time trying to make the clone look like the celebrity and wearing a mask but it's not out the possibility because i'm sure they could wear masks too because you know you never know what creatures are impersonating uh the celebrity so like like david uh, ike used to say reptilians and stuff so and and that you know there's something to that we might get into that in another video the whole reptilian thing because it sounds kind of crazy but you know these things are like the serpent see like these these beings are like from a different like you know some call them aliens some call them 
rept reptilian, as others might call them serpentine, you know, so they're saying definitely they're not humans. You know, these uh, there's, there's things down here that are not humans. So anyways, like I said, that's another video. So, OK, so we covered the mask, the facial surgery and the cloning from an infant to where they have to grow up. So um, one other thing we should uh, I should mention is I've mentioned it before, but, you know, if these are like demons or something um, that can uh, enter some of these celebrities and um, take over the clone where it's really the demon now, um, or they might share the body with the celebrity and, you know, because possessions involved. I, I suspect with all the soul transfer stuff that leaves the door open. So I've shared this with you before, but I was theorizing that the demons would know how to perfectly impersonate any celebrity. So eventually if the demon wants to take over full control over the clone or the body, the demon can um, impersonate the celebrity perfectly. And it's probably not going to be perfectly because I'm sure there's little details that this demon would know that only the celebrity would have known. If somebody really knew the celebrity real good, there's little things that only they would know the real person. So there could be an aspect of, um, possession though involved with this cloning stuff. So, um, another theory that I might throw out there is that, um, some suspect that there's possibly clones maybe born maybe they make replicas of of people when they're born maybe influential people or of a certain bloodlines they might make a few copies when they're born but yeah let me know which one you like um what do you guys think um you think they can clone you as a full-size human I believe I believe they can do that by now. Whether like I said, I'm leaning more towards the facial surgery thing. They just get a base model and they can make the clone look how they want. But maybe they can even um and and then like I said, uh, from a baby to a adult, we know that that can be done. We've saw them clone animals before, so it's pr probably uh, the chances are they're cloning humans as well by now especially by now remember Dottie the sheep and they were like they already showed us that they can clone animals so um and then I don't know it's not out of the possibility for them to have the ability to clone a full size human perfectly even without facial surgery I mean all three of those options are on the table so just I mean let me know which one you guys think is um the one but anyways, uh, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'll leave a link in the comment section and the description box if you want to watch more of my videos on clones. I'll also leave links if you want to um, check out my other channels and subscribe to them. And um, if you want to check out my social media. And if um, you want to donate to the channel, you can donate as little as a dollar to help keep things going here at Feed Your Mind. Thank you for